Recently, I made a video promoting the LibreWolf web browser, which is a, a web browser really focused on privacy and security. It's kind of a hardened version of Firefox. And the problem with LibreWolf for many of you guys that are trying it out, and it was a problem for me initially, is that LibreWolf is so locked down that it, it doesn't allow DRM restricted content to actually be able to be played within LibreWolf. What does that mean? It means things like Netflix and Hulu will not work in LibreWolf. But you can enable DRM in LibreWolf. It's not obvious how to do it because it's not like a, a, a checkbox or something in the settings inside LibreWolf itself that you can just check on or check off. You actually have to go edit a config file on your system to enable DRM. So let me switch over to my desktop here and I'm going to open up a terminal here and let's open up uh, let me zoom in so you guys can see this file. This is, uh, I'm going to do sudo vim because I'm going to use the vim text editor, but open up this particular file and whatever text editor you prefer to use, you have to have root privileges because it's in the uh, root file system. And the file we want to edit is slash user slash lib slash librewolf slash librewolf.cfg. So librewolf.config essentially. And this is your librewolf config file. And if I go to the top here, you know, this most of it is commented out. As you go further down, you will have some stuff that is uncommented. Now, eventually, you're going to find a section that has to do with DRM. I think for me, it was toward the top. Yeah, it was right here. DRM slash CDM. And you see this entire section here. Now, all of this was uncommented when I first installed LibreWolf. Now, what this does is this restricts DRM. This is basically what shuts down DRM. It doesn't allow that kind of stuff to actually work in the browser. What you need to go in here and do is comment it all out. Comment all of these lines out is what I did. I don't know if I needed to comment all of them sp specifically to get something like Netflix to work. Netflix really needs Widevine, which is these three lines here. But I went ahead for DRM. I just went ahead and commented this whole section out. And then make sure you save that. And then when you get into LibreWolf and you go to, I, I don't know, Netflix or something that you know needs uh, DRM enabled. So if I go to my Netflix account here and I want to click on something, you know, maybe I want to play this here the next three days, it will actually, now when it actually won't play initially after you edit that config file. Initially, when you go to Netflix and try to play something for the very first time, you're going to get a little, uh, yellow pop-up box at the top, you know, a little pop-up warning saying, do you want to enable DRM? Click yes. And then you're just going to have to wait. It takes a while for LibreWolf to download the DRM uh, plugins that it needs to play that content. So chances are you're not going to be able to play it right away. It took me two or three different times using LibreWolf after I enabled all of that stuff before it finally worked. So it does take it a while to actually install those plugins and make them work. If you go to add-ons here, and these are your extensions, go to plugins. What you should eventually see are the Widevine content uh, decryption module, which is necessary to play some of that Widevine content that you need in Netflix. I also have the Open H264 video codec provided by Cisco Systems. So once you have all of that, then your videos should play fine, which obviously this video is playing just fine for me in LibreWolf. So just a, a quick how-to video on how to enable DRM in LibreWolf because I, I've gotten that question a lot since I made that vid that initial video about LibreWolf wolf about a week ago so there you go guys now before i go i want to thank a few special people i want to thank the producers of the show absy dallas devin fran gabe corbinian mitchell akami arch 5530 chris chuck david the other david donnie dylan gregory lewis paul pick bm scott wes and willie they are the producers of the show they are my highest tiered patrons over on patreon without these guys this episode about enabling drm and libre wolf would not have been possible i also want to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well these are all my supporters over on patreon because the community sponsors the distro tube channel right we don't have any corporate sponsors while my phone is going off <laughs> If you guys would like to sponsor me, hey, check out DistroTube over on Patreon. That's so unprofessional, leaving my phone on. All right, guys. Peace. <laughs>